welcome back. Well, there's always something happening at the Augusta Museum of History, and this Saturday you can get a sneak peek of their behind-the-scenes tour. We have Alina Wrench in with us this morning to tell us about the tour and what you can expect to see. Good morning. Good Hi, morning. good morning. Thanks. Thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for coming on the show. So there's always a lot to check out mm -hmm. at the Augusta Museum of History. We love highlighting all of your events, but tell us specifically about this, the behind-the-scenes tour. Yeah, so the behind-the-scenes tour, we really want to highlight what's going on behind the scenes. Um, you know, most museums don't have their full collection out on display. So not only do we want to kind of educate people about what goes into preparing things behind the scenes of the museum, but we also want to look at um, what they can do in their own homes with their own um, family treasures to help preserve them and make them last for generations. And speaking of uh, preserving, you can see she's wearing gloves right now because you want to make sure that these these, uh, these, these babies are taken care of. Uh, who can sign up for this, Alina? And what can they expect to see? Yes, yeah, so anyone can sign up. Uh, the tour is free with admission, and we do recommend that you call to register ahead of time, but we do take walk-ins as well. Um, and they can expect to go back into our collections processing area, as well as our research library and usually our main collection storage as well. Um, and we show them a little bit of show and tell. We have some different examples of objects out, and we also kind of tell them a little bit about what they can do to preserve those objects. And tell us what you brought with you today. So this is a stereoscope. It is sort of, I like to think of it as a um, Victorian era viewmaster for anyone say, who remembers this is, those. This is the prototype right exactly. here. Exactly. Um, so 3D photo viewing has been around for a very long time. You take a, a stereograph photograph, which is um, two in one, and you line it up, you look through, and then you adjust it, and it becomes 3D. So that technology has been around for a really long time. Um, and just as a little prop for uh, preservation, we keep them in these protective sleeves to make sure that the photographs stay uh, preserved. And this is some of the, I would say, maybe hands-on things that you can actually see when you're going behind the scenes. Absolutely, the store, right? yes. So now the museum's very large, but obviously, like we said, everything's not always on display. How do you determine what gets put out? So we always look for things that are going to help to tell the story of the CSRA. Um, usually we don't accept something unless it does help us to tell that story. But there's a lot of reasons why something might not be out on display. Um, for one size, uh, we just have limited exhibit space. Most museums are in that situation. Um, but also a lot of things uh, may be either too fragile or... Um, the stress of being put on display over time can wear on them. So we want to make sure that if we are putting something that is going to have that stress of being on display, something like paper or something like textile that's very sensitive to light over time, that we are always um, switching it out and kind of monitoring um, over time how that's going to be affected by being on display. And when you do receive an item, talk to us about the research process that you have to do. Right, yeah, so every object comes with its own story and we call that the provenance. So when we are um, receiving an object uh, from the donor, we're talking to the donor about not just what the object is, doing our own research historically on, you know, this is obviously a stereoscope, but we wanna find out from the donor, um, who did it belong to, um, where has it been, uh, what significance did it have to the owners before? Um, so that's the sort of research that we usually do. And then we record it in our um, cataloging system so that not only is the uh, history of what the object is preserved, but also its significance. All right, so now the behind the scenes tour is taking place this Saturday the 16th. And you also have it again happening on the 23rd as yes. well. Uh, if people would like to donate to the museum, how could they go about doing that? So, um, you can always uh, call us, uh, you can always go uh, via um, our website, um, and to register for the tour itself, uh, you can just call the number. Um, usually I'm the one who gets those calls, okay. so we'll be happy to uh, schedule you for uh, one of the two tours coming up. Okay, and there's multiple times that people can choose. Yes, the tour um, is at, we have one at 11, one at 1 o'clock, and then one at 3. Okay. And by the way, this isn't the only event that's happening at the Augusta Museum of History. You have a, a, a list of events that happen throughout the year, correct? Yes, we do. Um, we have some wonderful educational programs that uh, come up periodically. I know that coming up we have um, Voices of the Past, so that will be um, actors out in the exhibits mm -hmm. that you can interact with. Um, and then we will also have uh, some family fun days coming up um, throughout the fall. And we have a lot of things coming up uh, for the holidays as well. So. All right, check that out. Again, AugustaMuseum.org is the behind the scenes this Saturday uh, and also on the 23rd as well. Alina Rinch, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's check in right now. First alert, meteorologist.